John or Serene for CreativeCow.net. In this exclusive, we'll take a look at the new features and some hidden techniques of the recently announced Adobe Production Studio. In this demonstration, we'll briefly touch upon some of the new features introduced in Premiere Pro and discuss these features in great depth in future tutorials. The first thing that most users will notice is that the name of the application has changed from a numerical naming convention to a CS naming convention, making Premiere Pro CS3. Another minor design change is the look of the logo and the splash screen. Instead of using graphical images, the new application now uses letters. Apart from the name and splash screen change, Premiere Pro CS3 ships with a lot of new features that can enhance your workflow and perhaps even increase project delivery speeds. Before we discuss the new features, let's take a look at Premiere Pro CS3 from the outside. Prior to the release of the recently announced products, Premiere Pro comprised of just Premiere Pro. However, Premiere Pro CS3 now includes Adobe Encore DVD CS3 for DVD authoring and Adobe On Location. On Location is the new name for DV Rack, which was acquired by Adobe from Serious Magic a few months ago. While there aren't any significant feature enhancements in DV Rack, it can most certainly assist you during production. Another application-specific announcement is that the entire production studio is now available on the Mac. Prior to this release, Premiere Pro and Encore DVD were only available on the PC. However, with this current release, all applications, with the exception of Audition, are currently available on the Mac. Other new features include Flexbins, enhanced source channel mappings, time remapping, and improved slow motion. For detailed explanation of each of these new features and to explore hidden tricks and techniques, be sure to visit creativecow.net.